We're going to be in the 30s most of the day. <laughs> 30s this evening as well for the basketball game. Uh, let's keep that winning streak going. I know it's early in the season, 1-0, uh, but the men taking on Canisius at 7 o'clock. And, you know, this is some big ACC play, but nonetheless, go Cuse. We're going to have winning weather for the walk-up. Winds are light, 3-8. to eight. Clouds dry, 38 miles per hour. Uh, 38 degrees, not miles per hour. 5 miles per hour to 0 miles per hour, the wind for the walk-back. But around tip-off, around 7 or 8, we're going to get some flurries working again. Maybe mixing with some rain showers as well. This is where we're going to bottom out, 9 or 10 o'clock at night at 34. So I don't think we get any ice around Syracuse. No snow accumulation. This is going to be light and wet. And most of the overnight is just going to turn wet for us as we climb through the 30s to near 40 by sunrise tomorrow morning. Problem is, it's going to be areas to the northeast and east of Onondaga County. Those areas, the cold is a lot colder. It's going to be tough to dislodge. The warm air is going to try to win out with this warm front, but it may not reach those areas. And that's why you could get a good glazing of ice up on the Tug Hill, the Adirondacks, Mohawk River Valley, maybe the central leather stocking region. So a bigger factor for this winter weather advisory up there versus the immediate Syracuse area. So that's where the freezing rain, the snow, the rain, uh, sleet possibly right now over Michigan. This first flank might not even be reaching the ground because we're going to have some real dry air. In fact, we're going to clear out this morning before the clouds come back and then later this evening the wintry mix that should be light around most of central New York. We're talking just a touch of glaze in some of these areas to the northeast and to the east, even into Madison County, even though you're not under the winter weather advisory. But let's watch out Lewis County, northern and northeastern Oneida County, going into Herkimer County and the Adirondacks. Those are the areas that will have more substantial slippery travel overnight tonight and tomorrow morning into the Adirondacks. So the clouds break this morning and then later this afternoon, new clouds come back at us. Maybe 40, 41, chilly day for sure, but at least less Less wind compared to yesterday, less warmth. Now we'll go down as that precipitation comes in. It's going to be off and on and light at first towards 9 or 10 o'clock, 34 in Syracuse, and then we go up from there. Notice it's not substantial precipitation. Maybe a small amount of snow and then the small icing in some of these spots, a little bit more well to the northeast. Rain here, we're near 40 degrees, and that rain breaks up to scattered showers, a little drier for the afternoon. Your roads improve here to the east-northeast. We're up to about 53, so we're actually above average tomorrow afternoon. Falls late in the day, and some lake effect rain showers will be up to the north, maybe mixing with some snow Friday morning up on the Tug Hill. So 41 for today, that wintry mix tonight, going over to rain and rain showers. Rain showers tomorrow morning, mostly dry in the afternoon. It's breezy and 53. Then 49 with lake effect rain showers, mostly up east of Lake Ontario on Friday. We'll go chillier with some scattered morning rain and snow showers throughout all of central New York as a new cold front comes through. That's going to leave us with a chill for Sunday, but lots of sunshine. That's my pick day warming towards the middle of next week. Abby?